Hi, I'm the LCD screen from Team 1666, and today I'm going to tell you why I'm the most amazing part you've never used. And to set up your LCD screen. To wire it, put the four prong end of the Y shaped cable into UART 1 or 2. For plugging in the two ends of the wire into the screen, we use this phrase white for the white wire in TX and yellow for the yellow wire in RX. Now fasten the screen to your robot. Remember to put it in an accessible place that is protected from field objects and other robots. The first helpful use for your screen is an alternative to the on-computer print-to-screen function. Displaying information, including real-time sensor data, on the LCD is often much better than printing to screen on your computer. First off, instead of values shooting by on your computer screen, there's one easy-to-read number on your LCD. Second, it works during driver control, unlike print-to-screen. Using the LCD is indispensable when you need to monitor values while your robot is driving around. It's no fun to have to run around the field with your computer tethered to your robot. Our favorite use for the LCD screen is as an autonomous program selector. It is a little difficult to program, but definitely worth it. Without the LCD screen, if you had two autonomous programs, one for each starting square like this, you would have to change programs between matches. This makes back-to-back -back matches and last-minute changes difficult, and there is a room for error. If you used an LCD screen, you could change plans in an instant and have one less thing to worry about and never need to re-download your program at a competition. You can even add your skills program to the selector. A few technical details. One, autonomous code must be combined into one big program with separate functions. Two, selector code needs to be in the initialized section of your competition program. Three, you must be plugged in and disabled on field control for this to work. Another thing we like to use the LCD for is debugging loops in our code. For example, if you suspect your program isn't going into a loop, have a message display on the LCD when your program enters that section of code. Two important notes about the LCD. When displaying variables, make sure the LCD variable type is the same format as what the variable outputs. Two, the screen can only display 16 characters per line and will cut off anything it doesn't have room for. There are plenty more ways to use your LCD. A few other ideas are a pneumatics deployment counter, displaying motor power, flashing backlight when there's 10 seconds left in a match, displaying the battery voltage, and anything else you can think of. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you'll give the LCD screen a try. I'm the LCD. You should really be using me. Reading off sensor values printed to screen. You really should be putting me on your machine. Selecting autonomous code. Remember to put it in initialize mode. Pick up your LCD today. If you don't use me, you're cray cray.